Jesus freak here. Now, when I was younger, I uh, helped a uh, website out by completing an incomplete copy of the Brothers Grimm that they had. See, I've always been into folklore. I could mention a lot of names associated with folklore. You'd probably even recognize some of them. Jean Perrault, the Brothers Grimm, Hans Christian Andersen, Andrew Lang. Um, th there's a lot of names that you might be familiar with. And Folklore passes down through oral tradition. And deals with the, the issues, the concerns, the fears, the superstitions of its time and place. For example, a lot of Grimm's tales came from medieval Europe. I won't say necessarily Germany. They didn't necessarily entirely come from Germany. We know some of them were borrowed from Shaw Perot and then went back into the oral tradition after his compilation was published. And then the brothers Grimm took down a, on a version that was, you know, a few generations down. It happened with Little Red Riding Hood. Perot wrote the definitive version, and then about 150 years later, the Grimm brothers wrote, a, wrote another version that was obviously based on this. Well, you tend to find a lot of association with, you know, whatever, whatever their religion or faith was at the time, and since we're talking medieval Europe, that's going to be, you know, medieval Christianity. In other words, the Church of Rome. And a lot of stereotypes and superstitions associated with medieval Christianity would turn up in the, in the stories. There's stories that involve the Virgin Mary. Stories that involve Jesus. Now, understanding this sort of milieu sometimes helps to understand. You know, if you understand the superstitions, you might understand the religious dogma that's related to them. For example, oh, Jews used to be so paranoid about, about abusing the name of the Lord because the commandment about taking the name of the Lord in vain, they wouldn't even pronounce it, and his name was forgotten. And we wound up with a name with the wrong vowels. That's how we got Jehovah. Now, I mentioned in another video that the origin of infant baptism was in medieval Christianity and was because people were afraid of what might happen to an infant that wasn't baptized. Not necessarily that they'd go to hell if they died before they had the chance, but, although that is, is why some um, mainline Protestant groups do that. Um, 
but they were afraid that the fair folk, you know, fairies, leprechauns, and the like, that were part of European superstition might spirit away their children and replace them with their own children. Why? Who knows? But th this is what they, they believed. And they made it a point to baptize the children as soon as possible to avoid that happening. Now, these replacement children were known in English as changelings. And the stereotypes about changelings, you know, that they'd be very introverted, that they had very quirky behavior, they might not be able to talk, you know. These are the same traits traits associated with changing is the same traits associated with autism. So most likely these superstitions about changelings were their way of trying to explain how autism happened. Now, I'll admit, it's a little bit of a stretch, but it's perfectly reasonable, I think, given what we know. Now, since I said it in the context of um, the Episcopal Church, I think some people might have misconstrued what I was saying to be talking about the Episcopal Church. I was speaking of historical matters related to the historic origins, as I believe them to be, of infant baptism, and those predate the Episcopal Church. They predate the Church of England from, you know, the Episcopal Church is the official American division, I guess you'd say, American branch of the Church of England. So, I felt I needed to clarify this a bit because I think there might have been a little bit of a misunderstanding and I want to clear the air a bit. By the way, the uh, website that I helped to finish up, it still exists at the same location it was at about 20 some odd years ago and still has my name mentioned in the acknowledgments. Jesus freak out.